Hey guys, Edgar with Poolman University, and today we are in the presence of Eric Knight from Arenda. We're doing a couple of videos with regards to the LSI, the factors of the LSI. And if you watched the previous video, Eric talked about carbonate alkalinity, and that is different from total alkalinity. So we thought we'd do a video for you explaining what that is. So Eric, can you explain to us carbonate alkalinity and the difference from total alkalinity? Absolutely. Thank you, Edgar. Uh, in the last video, I, I said carbonate alkalinity, which is also called corrected alkalinity. And it's a bit of a misnomer. We have an article on our blog that really dives in deeper on this. Um, and I could talk for hours about the complexities, but that's not what we're here to do. Basically, what the LSI is calling for is all of your alkalinity that is in the carbonate spectrum, meaning bicarbonate and carbonate. So when they say carbonate, uh, it, it's, it's misleading because it also includes bicarbonate alkalinity. So when you add something like sodium bicarb, okay, sodium bicarbonate adds that, it raises the bicarbonate alkalinity. And as your pH goes up at some point, I believe it's 8.2 to 8.3, some of that starts converting into carbonate alkalinity, which is just CO3. But the LSI just needs to know your total of both of those. The way that you figure that out, of course, the Arenda app does all of this for you, so you don't need to stress about it. You just put the total alkalinity in there and, and then your CYA will correct. But what the LSI is really trying to figure out is what is your carbon and alkalinity, meaning your total alkalinity without cyanurate alkalinity. Now, there are other things that can contribute to your buffering system. I know borate is one of them, although it's a very small number. Uh, we don't include that in our app but we absolutely include cyanuric acid because that makes a huge difference. The rule of thumb is take your cyanuric acid number and divide it by three, okay? Take a third of that cyanuric acid. Let's say you have 90 in your pool. Okay, so we're gonna take a third of that, which is 30 parts per million, and we're gonna subtract that 30 from the total alkalinity. So if I had 100 parts per million total alkalinity and I had 90 stabilizer, I take that third of 90, 30, and subtract it from 100, and now I have 70 carbon and alkalinity. Let's say you're more responsible with your CYA. Let's say you actually had 60 parts per million. Well, a third of that is 20. Of course, this is all easy math. Um, a third of that is 20. You subtract 20 from whatever your total alkalinity is. That's how you get your corrected carbon and alkalinity for the LSI. But again, if you're using the Arenda app, you don't need to do that. You just put in your total alkalinity in the calculator and then put in your cyanuric acid, no matter what it is, and it will actually figure all the math for you, which is why when you adjust the CYA, the LSI number changes in real time. That was going to be my next question to you, obviously being a pool guy trying to figure out the cap, cap I can't speak today. Uh, That's okay. Carbonate can alkalinity. <laughs> We're doing the carbonate alkalinity. Obviously, I'd have to sit there and do the math, LSI calculator takes all of that into effect. And so all I have to worry about is entering that total alkalinity and the Arenda app will take care of the rest. Correct. And, and one other thing about carbon and alkalinity, it's not just used for the LSI. It also helps you determine your pH ceiling based on how high your pH can naturally rise when it loses CO2 over time. The lower your carbon and alkalinity, the lower that ceiling is. Now in most pools, that ceiling is going to be 8.2 something. Okay. But if you have much lower carbon alkalinity, like 40 or 50, your pH ceiling could be 8.1 something, or maybe, you know, just under 8.1 as the natural ceiling for where your pH could go, which ties into something we may discuss later. If you have something like a salt pool, Arenda recommends you actually have lower alkalinity in that pool because you want to lower the potential ceiling of that pH to minimize problems like calcium flaking on the salt cell. But, you know, you have to do other things. You have to replace that LSI deficit with more calcium hardness. But again, we, we're going down a rabbit hole, but that's basically what you need to know. A third of your cyanuric acid deducted from your total alkalinity equals your corrected carbon alkalinity. Great. Guys, for all of you out there trying to figure out where we can find that app, Eric, where can the guys get it? It's available in the app store and Google Play. It's just called Orenda, O-R-E-N-D-A. And then what other programs for training does Arenda offer? Oh, we've got a lot. We do have Arenda Academy also available in the app and on our website, but we've got a bunch of written procedures. We have about a hundred educational blogs, uh, almost a hundred videos, 
just t- we have a podcast as well called Rule Your Pool. So we 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 try to get educational materials out there through as many avenues as possible. Great. Guys, if you haven't visited the site, go to arendatech.com. You're going to be able to see a lot of the videos. Eric does a great job at explaining the carbonate alkalinity there as well. So if you still have some questions on it, go to their webpage, click on that video. You're going to see how well he breaks that down and how easy it is. So Eric, thanks so much. Guys, Thank you. we'll see you in the next side.